What's up everybody, this is the Beastly Gamer here, and today I'm playing for the first time this game called Spelunky, which was available today on the PlayStation 4, along with uh, Dust and Elysium Tail. I tried to get Drive Club, I was unable to get it. I'm thinking that Drive Club will be available tomorrow, because it is technically the 8th, it's, uh, it's 12.52 a.m., and it's not available for me yet. It is in the PlayStation Store, but for some reason the PlayStation Plus version is not available, so I'm thinking that there's probably an issue there. Um, but uh, I, I've been playing this for, what, 45 seconds. Honestly, I played this game for about two minutes before I uh, started this recording. And so you guys get to actually experience it with me for the very first time. Um, and it has some really crazy looking characters. That's one thing I can say about it. Some of these characters are insane. There's like 12 to 15 characters you can choose from. It looks like there's like 10 locked characters that you can unlock. And I don't know if they all have different abilities or not. Um, but this little uh, Chinese guy is hardcore. He's not who I initially chose, but um, I had to, to play as him. So it is what it is. But um, PlayStation Plus, man. It's the best PlayStation. I mean, it's the best video game service, if you ask me. Probably in the last ten years, as far as uh, gratuity from um, a major company like Sony, they are really doing something awesome. With you know, basically giving us uh, so many free games. You know, Drive Club. My good friend, Not Too Nerdy Entertainment, was talking about this game, and um, I just saw some trailers for it. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not the biggest racing sim or arcade racer fan, but you know, I'll take it if it's free and I'll play it and, and let you guys know what I think. Um, but yeah, Not Too Nerdy talked about it, and he said that uh, it's probably the best looking racer. I saw some video of it, and it looked pretty good. Um, it looks very well detailed, and I'm kind of excited to see what it's like. Like I said, I couldn't get it tonight. I'll probably end up getting it tomorrow. And I know you guys probably heard about this this new resolution gate going on with uh, Ubisoft and uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, and basically they came out and said that Unity for PS4 and Xbox One will be running at a locked 900p, 30 frames per second. And of course, when I first heard this, I was like. No bullshit. Microsoft then paid them off to uh, to not create an optimized version for the PS4 because they keep getting sl slammed with this Gamergate nonsense. And from what I'm hearing, that might not be the case. I'm hearing that, um, oh shit. Wow, okay. Um, shit, Castlevania. Oh, Simon Belmont. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, some people are saying that the CPU is the issue, some people think it's the GPU, but from what I understand it is the CPU, and um, if that is the case, uh, then it actually means that Microsoft is actually uh, able to run the game at a higher frame rate, and maybe higher resolution, and Sony's platform is actually the reason for them not being able to run it optimized. Now, if you want to go based on the past alone, I call bullshit on it, because when it comes to these consoles, the PS4 has been running everything better than uh, the Xbox One. I mean, everything has been running better on the PS4, and, and there's really no argument there. For Assassin's Creed, uh, even the, the previous Assassin's Creed was better on the PS4. Um, so for them to, you know, speculate now, oh, snap, crackle, pop. Dude got me. For them to say now that you know the PS4 is actually holding it back, I don't know if I would take that you know as word is bond type of information. You know you could, but who knows whether or not it's true? That's all I'm saying. Um, if we're gonna go by the past, you gotta take into account that the PS4 has been owning the Xbox at every turn, and um, it is possible. It's very possible that this story could have some validity and and. Uh, the, the Xbox One is actually the superior system when it comes to Assassin's Creed, but if that is the case, I really do hope they teach the other developers how to tap into this, uh, you know, unused power that no one else seems to be able to get a hold of, you know, because <laughs> the PS4 is owning right now, and that's just the, the, the way it is. I know there's a lot of Xbox fans out there, 
I'm not going to call you guys anything derogatory because I'll be owning my Xbox uh, very soon. I'm actually picking up my Wii U tomorrow. So I had I had a choice. Um, a what to pick? Okay, now I'm confused. Now, let me see. Can I go inside this tunnel, maybe? Yes, I can. All right. I'll be picking up my Wii U tomorrow uh, and be doing a little video on that. I don't care about the story right now. The story, it's hokey. Um, and so I'll be picking that up and, and I'll probably be doing a video for you. Oh, 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 God. Stabbed in, stabbed in the neck. Fatality. Um, I, I, my wife and I, we were trying to decide. Ooh, I just moved that? Okay, you can pick it up. Hey, can I put the snake inside here? Oh, busted his ass. And so it's Wii U time first. Um, and it's simple. Smash Brothers is coming out next month. And that's when I'm really focused on more so than anything else. Smash is a, a very important staple in my gaming community. And I know some guys don't play it, don't like it. Nobody's perfect, man. I said it before, I said it again. Nobody's perfect. But Smash is a game that should be had and held and cherished and I'm super, super stoked to get my hands on it. And that's just the, the way it is. Oh, I can't, I can't bomb that, damn it. Yeah, I don't have any bombs. My wife's watching me play. Ooh, money! Let me see, how do I pick this up? Buy a bomb bag, buy a bomb bag. Ooh, the, oh, no problem. What, what the hell is this? Word. I don't know what this journal entry is, but I'm gonna check it out. Climbing gloves. What? And then gave me the Incredible Hawk's hands. So um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna be playing my Wii U. I don't have any games for it yet. I haven't. I kind of wanted my very first game. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Damn. Oh, he mad. Fuck. This dude is tripping. What? He done knocked me out. Damn. I done got on his. Oh, let me get the hell on. My fault, cuz. Damn! This dude is tripping. I gotta go. This dude is hardcore. He's still jumping. Look like a trailer vibrating. That dude got me scared. He got me real scared. Hey, he's still blowing up shit down there. I gotta go this way. Can I kill him? <laughs> Let me see where he's at now. How many bones do I have? I got seven. Maybe I can. Maybe I can get his ass. Hey, you wanna keep your? Oh, snap! Oh. Damn, I died. Yeah, now I'm back up here again, but I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what should be my first Wii U gaming experience. Um, I could wait for Smash. I probably won't. I know there's a lot of good stuff. Let me see. I can pick up a rock. Yes, I can. Oh, damn. He threw that shit like Babe Ruth. Speaking of Babe Ruth, if they made Babe Ruth shoes like Jordan's, would you guys buy them? I was thinking about that at work, actually. Um... Yeah, so you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Whether or not I should, uh... Damn! This dude just got... Whether or not, uh, I should pick up something before Smash Brothers comes out. And what that game should be. I know, uh, 9 to 5 Gamers. Oh, God, this dude done did it again. Oh, my God, I'm going... Oh, shit! That's it, guys, for this video. <laughs> You guys, be sure to like the video and show some support to the Beast of Gamer channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let me know what Wii U game I should get first. I'm the Beast of Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.